demonstrate how incidents are prioritized and managed. So there's two types of alerts within the Exabeam platform. There's the high fidelity behavior-based anomalies coming from Exabeam, uh, as well as the vendor alerts from third-party tools. Both of these alerts are dynamically and continuously enriched with our context via machine learning. Now for alerts coming from third-party tools, Exabeam offers a product called Alert Triage with Dynamic Alert Prioritization. And in Dynamic Alert Prioritization, we're showing all of the different third-party detections that are flowing into Exabeam's platform. We're taking this a step further by enriching these both with the users and devices that are involved in these particular threats, providing a risk score for each of the uh, entities involved. We also provide what we call dynamic alert prioritization. So we're actually analyzing each of these individual alerts and we're looking for various different uh, mechanisms or lenses around these alerts. Like how frequently do we see alerts from Palo Alto wildfire? What about Palo Alto wildfire with this particular severity against this particular user with this particular alert name? Uh, we take all of these things into consideration and we try to help an organization reprioritize these alerts from third parties using machine learning. The goal is to try to surface up maybe medium or low alerts that oftentimes wouldn't get looked at by telling the customer that these are actually high, not just by the alert themselves, but also because of all of the enrichment and visibility that the analytics has. So not only does this user have this Palo Alto wildfire alert, this user Frederick Weber had 399 points of risk given to this user by the behavior analytics. We can see all of the nearby anomalies here for other things that happened around this third-party security alert. And oftentimes those are going to be the first questions an analyst is going to ask when investigating a given alert. What else happened kind of before and after? So we can give a much more holistic picture of everything that's happened around this alert. So not only did this user have this Palo Alto alert, but we also see that he had another malware alert during the VPN. The first time this malware is seen for the user, for the organization. We also have some abnormal access activity happening. Right from here, this gives me the ability to escalate this into a case. I can go ahead and give it a critical escalation. That's gonna create a case in my case manager. If I didn't wanna start with these third-party alerts and I just wanted to start with higher fidelity risk-based alerting, we can come into the Exabeam case manager. So I can see here that these are all of the incidents or cases that I have within the system. And there's various different ways to look and slice and dice these. Right now I'm looking at the newest first. I could also come down and I could say, show me based on the highest first. And I can see all of these different notable users that Exabeam's advanced analytics has detected. And from within here, I can drive through kind of the overall case management experience and how we're looking at any one of these given alerts. We're automatically using our playbooks and our SOAR product to enrich the incident types. We can also use playbooks to automatically reassign the priority. So it's already at critical, but this may have come in as low and a playbook can actually run. And as new evidence is uncovered and more analysis done by default and automatically, these can be automatically escalated to higher priorities. So Xbeam offers two different ways to get into the detections that are being generated. You can start with those third party alerts that are enriched with all of the analytics and that risk-based approach, or you can start directly in the case manager for that risk-based view. Now, any alerts from alert triage that you want to escalate also come into this case management view. So you end up running your investigations from this case management workflow. So this is how Xbeam is able to prioritize and manage all of these different threats that are uh, found during real-time analytics.